Ow. Oh, she's not going in. Ow. Uh-oh, did she close up? Mm. Ow. She's not opening. Okay, I'm not going to say that anymore. Ah, uh, <laughs> Hello my friends, it's Nina and for this video I am on my bed So many days ago I asked you guys on Instagram for your questions so I could do a Q&A because it's been a while since I've done a Q&A It's been almost, what, three months or something? But now, here I am, I'm all good, and we're about to do this Q&A. So without further ado, we're going to get started with the Ask Neen, woo! So the first question is, if you were to be an animal, what animal would you be? I have thought about this before, and I feel like by personal character traits and characteristics, I would fit a rabbit the best, just because, you know, as a very anxious person, I feel like I would fit a rabbit pretty well. Also, my teeth are kind of shaped oddly, so I feel like a rabbit would fit my my personality. What do you usually order at Starbucks? I'm more of a Pete's Coffee kind of person. They're both fast coffee places. Anyway, at Starbucks, I like their iced Americanos. And I will put in hazelnut syrup just because Sometimes it can be a little too bitter. I have tried iced Americanos without syrup. It's good and there's no added sugar. It gets the job done, but sometimes I need that syrup. But sometimes I don't because I've been trying to cut down my sugar. But anyway, it's an iced Americano. Shh, quiet. The next question is, Nina, Nina, who's your favorite? The next question is, I just wanna answer these questions. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep going, okay? If, if, if my dogs bark, just, just, just ignore it. Just ignore it! The next question is, Nina, Nina, who's your favorite cartoon character and your favorite cartoon series? Oh, and of course, do you enjoy cartoons? So, I grew up with Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network was the homie. Since this question is asking me who's my favorite cartoon character, I'm gonna say a cartoon with my favorite cartoon character in it, and that is Adventure Time, and the character is Marceline, because why 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 don't you love Marceline, you know? And I just feel like she's me as a cartoon. The next question is when will you be graduating? <sighs> okay. Now hopefully if all goes well, if I get all my classes, if I pass all my classes, which should happen, then I should be able to graduate in 2019 in the spring, four years of college, because I graduated from high school in 2015. It's just UC Berkeley, especially also my major, you know, sometimes you it's just just classes get packed and you can't take the class that you want, which sucks because why am I not able to take the classes I want for my future, you know? But yeah, so spring 2019. Let's hope for that. The next question is, I've watched some of your videos and you're so good at drawing and stuff. My question is, why don't you go to art school for college? That is a good question. Whoa, it suddenly got dark. Senior year of high school. Actually, no. Throughout my life, art school wasn't really in my plans. I've always wanted to go to like a public university. And also, I don't really like being judged on my art. <laughs> uh, but senior year of high school, I remember when you know everyone was applying for colleges and all that. People were like asking me, so did you apply to art school? And I was like, Oh, that would have been a good idea. People actually expected me to go to art school just because I have taken art classes three years in a row in high school, you know? So it would make sense why didn't I apply for art school. But there was a part of me that did want to go to art school, like my dad did. But also there was a part of me that wanted to go to a university, public university, just like everyone else. And so it just didn't really turn out that way. You know, I'm glad that I went to a public university. I'm learning a lot and you know, you don't have to go to art school to be an artist. You know, you can still paint and you can still draw. You might not have as much time, but you don't have to go to art school to be an artist. And you don't have to go to art school to like art or you don't have to 
like art and then go to art school you know what i'm saying but if you go to art school that is amazing and you should be proud and you know you're going to learn a lot i have a lot of friends who are in art school as you know i came from like an art background and i made a lot of friends in my art classes so you know you learn a lot and they're making great art and they're doing a lot so i'm proud of them and you should be proud of yourself so it's not cutting down art school at all it's just i didn't go but I'm still okay. <laughs> now the next question is, if you could switch bodies with any K-pop star, who would it be? This may be weird, but I would like to switch bodies with Jungkook of BTS. Uh, just because he is so impossibly strong that I can't relate because my arms are literally <laughs> useless. I have no muscle in here. And it's just like, I would like to experience how it's like being able to carry people, being able to carry groceries without your arms getting tired. And also just like being able to dance like that. I would like to experience that. But also I would switch bodies with Rosé of Blackpink, Chaeyoung, just because she is beautiful and she's also able to sing and dance and do a lot so rose of blackpink or jungkook of bts the next question is where in korea is your family from both of my parents are from seoul of south korea um you know probably their families came from like other regions of korea but that's all i know is that they're both from seoul of korea so they are from the city Next question is, favorite and least favorite video on your channel? So my favorite video on my channel is the My Time at Chicago Ono oh Vlogs number 7. It's the, um, it's the vlog where I go to Chicago and it's one of my favorite videos. And it's probably my favorite video just because, you know, I got to capture a lot of beautiful shots and it makes me miss Chicago. You know, I've never seen water so still. It literally was surreal and it was just beautiful. And my least favorite video, I like all my videos, but this video would just be my least favorite just because I don't really like my... It's not really not liking, it's just my personality was very different in this video. It's my reacting to my high school art portfolio. It still is an okay video, so that would just be my least favorite. But yeah, my personality was definitely very different in that video. And sometimes when I watch it, I'm, I get shook. <laughs> Next question is, do you have a favorite thing to draw, like an object or a situation, and if so, why? I like drawing people's faces, you know, I've always been good-ish with portraits of people. Oh, I should show you one that I drew, oh my god, I have to show you it. Oh, it's right there! I'm really proud of it. But I definitely do, oh my back! Oh, oh my back, oh, oh my god, wow, whew! Uh, Nina's getting old. <laughs> so this is a quick doodle of Taeyang that I drew in the beginning of May. And so it was a quick little doodle, but I really like doing people's uh, faces just because I find that the most interesting. I started out drawing people's eyes. I really like drawing people's eyes, but then I kind of evolved into drawing people's faces, like their entire faces. So. It's also a lot of practice and a lot of help as an artist drawing people's faces, but yeah. So favorite thing to draw would definitely be people's faces. And sometimes if I'm feeling lazy, then just their eyes. Next question is, what is your favorite song on RM's mixtape? Are you excited to celebrate Namjoon's birthday in the Oakland show? So if you follow me on Twitter, right here, then sometimes I tweet about BTS, my bias group. I was talking about how I was going to get tickets and then I did say that I couldn't get tickets at first but I'm gonna see them. I'm gonna see them and I'm so excited. Woo! But yes, I am going to be celebrating Namjoon's birthday and I'm very excited about that. This is going to be my first time seeing them so I'm also excited about that. I'm a little scared but I'm also excited because they get they're they're coming to Oakland and that is so random for me, I think, just because NorCal is so... It's not as hyped as, you know, LA or something. LA got four dates. They had three dates and then it went to four. So I was like, what? And you couldn't give Oakland two dates? You know, one more date? But it's okay. I'm going and it's gonna be a great time. Anyway, yes. Also, my favorite song on Namjoon's mixtape would be Life. Just because I love the beats of the song, I love the way it sounds, I love the way it feels um, And you know, the lyrics are very... You know, just every time I listen to that song, I get an existential crisis and I'm like Good, 
But the lyrics of the song are just very deep. You know, just the, his mind is just... Wow. Next question is, have you always liked your birthmark mole? I don't know. I've always been appreciative of my mole. It kind of like makes me different somehow. Like if it, if it was gone, you know, I still look like me, but also it's just like, it's a part of me. But for the most part, I've always liked it. I'm always appreciative of it because otherwise my face would be kind of boring without it. So I wanted to include this person just because they asked me a lot of questions. It would break my heart if I didn't answer any of her questions. So here we go. Are you going to the BTS world tour? Yes. Yes, I am. September 12, 2018. It's gonna be a great time. What is your fave go-to BTS song? My favorite BTS song is Spring Day, Pomna. And every time I listen to it, I just think so many things and it's just, it's so beautiful. The music video was beautiful and just every time I hear it. <sighs> My thoughts on Singularity. Now this was definitely before their comeback, back when only Singularity was out, the music video. And oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Taeyong snapped, okay? When I saw the video, I was actually, I was frozen, dancing, vocals, vocals vocals those deep vocals those deep Taehyung vocals thank you thank you big hit for that but also just literally when it came out i watched the music video 10 times on that day just because it was so good so good so those are my thoughts on singularity next question can you show us your ear piercings yes i have three on each ear i once wanted cartilage but now I'm afraid to get them just because even my lobes, I didn't take care of them that well. So I'm kind of lucky that they didn't get seriously infected, but also lobes aren't that hard to manage. But I feel like if I do get cartilage, I'm not gonna take care of them because I barely took care of my lobes. So how am I gonna take care of my cartilage? And cartilage, it takes a long time to heal. So I don't know. I'm just happy with my three for now. I got my first ones in middle school, second one, my freshman year of high school, and then my third one in June of 2017. I really like these and just, it's a lot of fun. I don't really think I need a cartilage anymore. So it's fine. Having three, it's definitely a lot of fun. You get to mix and match. It's just. I love him so much. And the final question, will this be included in the video? Yes, you're welcome. And thank you for asking all those questions. I've always wanted to talk about my piercings. And I did want to give my take on BTS and singularity and all that. Next question is, how do you style your hair or do you do anything to it? For me, all I do is either let it grow as I'm doing right now. I let it grow really long and then I just chop it off. And then I just let it grow and then chop it off. I've never gone to a hairstylist. I don't know, I just, I don't really do much with it. I do want to do more, you know. But my hair is naturally curly, wavy, so I don't curl it. You know, I would straighten it if I wanted to style my hair, but I like the poofiness of my hair. It just matches well with my face. What food would you be? Also, do you like bubble tea? So what food would I be? I feel like I would be a block of tofu <laughs> just because I love tofu so much. And then bubble tea. I love boba, love it so much. I don't get milk tea just because I don't drink milk. I drink regular tea with boba. I, I would just like a cup of boba by itself. Sometimes I just want that, but I like boba tea. It's, it's great. Just like also being a NorCal person, being a California person in general, I feel like you just have a lot of boba. Next question is, are you fond of reading books, any genre? And if so, what are your book recommendations? Now, growing up, I wasn't really the book reading type of person, so I didn't really read that much growing up. But now, I have a new appreciation for reading books. I've been reading more books, and I really like philosophical kind of existential kind of books just because they're interesting to me and I like the way authors write in that kind of genre so definitely like philosophical just books that can teach you something but also if it's fictional they still teach you something you know it doesn't have to be like a non-fiction so right now I'm reading Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami and I really like the way he writes this is like my style of books, and so I definitely would recommend that. I'm still reading it, so I can't give you a review or anything, but I like it so far. Definitely recommend that. But I do like books that can teach you something, so that's what I prefer. Next question is, if you could be best friends with any fictional character, who would it be? So I have thought about this question before because 
I really love this character and I would love to have her as like an older sister or something but I would love to be best friends with Kim Bokju of weightlifting fairy Kim Bokju I just love the actress who played her and I really loved her character in general and just Yoo Sung Kyung just she she I would love to have her as my sister but also Kim Bokju just like she was so relatable just so just I loved her personality so I would definitely love to have her as a best friend <gasps> or as a sister I don't have an older sister so Next the question is what do you do when you're sad? What kind of music do you listen to when you're sad? When I'm sad and like really sad, I like to let out a big fat cry. I just like to let it all out. Just keep crying until I get so tired I fall asleep and then the next morning I wake up. I like to just let out my feelings, you know, whether that be crying or you know, writing out my feelings or just taking a walk, you know, having some fresh air getting to think about it, you know, playing with my dogs. There's a lot of things I like to do when I'm sad. But what kind of music I like to listen to when I'm sad? On my Spotify, I have an emo time playlist. It's called emo time. And I just, I like listening to ballads. I have my emo time playlist, which is all Korean music. They really go hard with the ballads, so really appreciate that. But I also do have an older playlist. It's called Songs to Cry To. So clearly, I like to listen to sad songs. And so these are, you know, Western music. So, you know, and I haven't updated it in a long time. But these songs, now that I'm looking at it, they still would make me cry. So. Those are some songs I like to listen to. And the last question is, do you have any advice for incoming freshmen for both high school and college? Honestly, do everything that you want to do. You're still young. You're still in the beginning of everything. So do everything you want to do. Everyone's new. Come in with a new slate. Even if you might know some people, just come in with a new slate. This is your life, your world. These are your next four years. So just be brave. Don't be afraid because in four years, you don't want to have any regrets, okay? Have a nice welcoming aura about you. Do whatever you want to do, whether that is socializing a lot or, you know, being your own better self, loving yourself, take care of yourself and just make sure in four years you can think back and look back and realize you did what you want to do. Don't let anyone stop you from being the best person you can be. Be yourself, love yourself, love, love love okay so that is it for this q a thank you so much for your questions and i'm sorry that i didn't get to answer all of them but i tried to answer as many as i could so thank you so much for participating and we will do another q a very soon and that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you very soon okay bye bye oh my back we are gonna do a hug okay here we go Bye-bye, see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Love you.